Kelly, we're seeing a light flurry right now, but this is nothing compared to earlier. However, check out this powder. It's more or less up to my thighs. Some pretty serious stuff here. It's fun to play in, and we saw plenty of that. However, it's also made the trek up here pretty challenging, but no one's really complaining as a white Christmas is the ultimate gift. It's a gift the whole state can enjoy. A Christmas Eve snow blanketing the Sierra. Help him up. For this family and their canine companion, the fresh powder is just too tempting. We haven't seen snow like this for a while, so we just had to come out here and enjoy ourselves. Yes, it's family time. Many are seeing snow for the first time. <laughs> From children up from the Bay Area. I really enjoy like seeing them have fun in it. To overseas travelers. I've seen this in movies and this is the first time I'm experiencing this in real life, so it's really pretty cool. Snow on the road means extra precautions and slower speeds. Right now we're still driving, approaching chain control, and it is slow going. The speedometer says we're traveling at about 10 miles an hour. So while traffic is moving, it isn't exactly free flowing. Did it the wrong way. Yeah, he got it the wrong way. I'm not sure if it's going to fall off, so we'll see. This couple is installing chains for the first time. We just learned it from YouTube of how to install it and just try our luck here. Very cool. There is help out there, but it'll cost you. Dexter Crockett is doing it himself on his big rig. It's something that I don't like to do because I feel if you have to put chains on, that means they're telling you it's too dangerous to drive. Interstate 80 briefly shut down in both directions after a big rig lost control and collided with a highway patrol cruiser. No one was injured. Originally, we were supposed to close both directions for four hours. Yeah, we can't have that. That would be really bad. Well, some never quite make it. Caltrans crews are working around the clock to keep the interstate clear. Making sure holiday travelers headed for the Sierra snow are able to reach it. Now back out here live, you can see that traffic is moving pretty easily. However, earlier when the snow was coming down heavier, uh, traffic was going eastbound at an average of just 15 miles per hour. Obviously, that's improved. So if you're headed up here now, it is smooth sailing. Reporting live at Cisco Grove, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.